Yo. Hello. We're standing here at Nimba Messe with Simon Owen. Hello. Can Hello. you just tell us a bit about the news? Yeah, what is here? So my name's Simon. I'm head of brand for Scale Electric, which means I look after all the cars we do, how we do them, marketing, licensing, all of those sort of aspects. So I want to talk yourselves through our new range for 2024. Before we start, it's really important to let you guys know that this isn't our full range for the year. This is just a small amount of cars we will be releasing between now and roughly late spring, early summer. We're breaking our release into three different chunks so as to make sure we can give all of our releases the most attention and drop it into little bite-sized, easy digestible chunks of releases for you, the consumers, to enjoy. Rather than telling you about 50 cars to do the whole year, we'll tell you just about a few that you can enjoy soon. Yes. So, I'm going to start at the top here. On display here we have a few of our cars. Not all of these are new releases, some are already available, but we'll go through them all. Adding to our Batman range, we have the amazing 1989 Batmobile. For me, this is the quintessential Batmobile. It is the most bat of all the Batmobiles, if that makes sense. It is a really cool looking car. This is a new tool in 132nd scale, so it's a nice big item, just like Thunderbirds we'll see in a minute. It is really well detailed, looks really cool, it lights up. This, we think, will be a real star of our early range. And we've already seen some really good noise about it from our consumers. Obviously in stock we still have the, the Batman car from the latest Batman films, the Robert Pattinson car. And this combined with the 1966 Batmobile, which we're having new stock arriving shortly, creates a really cool little trio of Batmobiles. And uh, we think these are the absolute coolest of the three. So this is a really cool little way of adding all Batmobiles to your collection. Keeping on the TV and film theme, we have Lady Parker, Lady, pa Lady Penelope rather, and Parker in the wonderful Thunderbirds Fab One, our biggest single scale electric car to date. It does go around the track, you can fit two side by side, just. Uh, it has a fully detailed interior, beautifully detailed exterior as well, and it's a really cool, really nice looking scale electric car. And it handles really well actually, it really goes nicely. Yep. Another new item for, for this year, and another new piece of tooling, is the New York City cab. We've done this as a way of adding another iconic and incredible piece of automotive history to our range. These are quintessentially New York, they appear in countless films, TV shows, and so it's a really cool little addition to our lineup. It comes again with a fully detailed interior, young man driving it, no one in the back, and the roof lights even lights up as well, so it's uh -huh. those cool little extra features. Yes. These items have been out for a little bit of time now. We have the DeLorean from the third film, Knight Rider, and James Bond's Aston Martin DB5. Yeah, some favorites. With the hatch. <laughs> with the hatch, yeah, with the working <laughs> ejector seam, so which is yeah. a really cool feature. Okay, moving on to our racing and road cars, we have another livery on our AMG GT3. This is the updated Mercedes AMG GT3 body. This is the Ram racing car from the Dubai from the Duke Golf 12 Hours rather in 2002. This is in this really cool retro D2 Privat livery. So if you like me watch DTM and FIA GT championships throughout the 90s with CLK DTMs and C class. DTM and things like that and CLK GTR. This is that livery on a modern GT3 car. It's a real livery, uh, racing British GTR for this as well. So it's a really cool thing and it actually really stands out. It's one of our best liveries we've done so far on the AMG. Right, moving on to a couple more re-releases, a couple of green cars. We have the 330p4 of David Piper. This is a car that I believe David still owns. The original P4. It is an absolutely fantastic looking thing. The green on this sample is incorrect we'll be fixing that for production yeah but it will look like a really nice little car have you released this in red in the in the box we have yeah, yeah same cars in the daytona box yeah and have you released this earlier like uh, 30 40 years ago or no, something we, were, we, we did do this car 30 uh, no longer than that sort of 50 years ago yeah this is a brand new piece of tooling from around yeah of course years, so, yeah. <laughs> and another green one we have a new Livery on our Lamborghini Countach. This is a Verdi Pinot. This is the best looking Countach we have done so far. The green and the gold wheels looks absolutely brilliant. And this is actually not yeah, so far is. away from being available. This is what I don't collect road cars myself. I just just grab classic GTs, classic touring cars. But I think this is is a stunner. It's absolutely beautiful. Keeping on the new releases, we have a Jaguar XJS. This is from a Bar First race in 1986, with this lovely mirror finish for the logos down the side, which looks really really good. So this is our brand new Mark 1 Golf GTI tooling. This is a brand new piece of tooling. It's a really accurate little Mark 1 Golf. 
this bottle is available in right hand drive on this release, but there will be other ones coming, other releases, racing police, all that sort of bits and pieces. Oh, nice. It's a really cool little car. Will it be a German police too? It might be at some point, yes. <laughs> uh, but it is a really cool thing. We, we believe a really nice, accurate Mark 1 Golf is missing from the world of slot racing. Yeah. So it was great to add this to the range. Mm -hmm. Keeping with a classic theme, released in most markets now, the Jaguar, this is our Mark 1, and we have the Police Mark 2 as well. These have gone down really, really well, selling really well. They're really nice little cars, really, really accurate. We scan, 3D scanned a couple of cars to get the shapes just right, so we're really happy with how these have come out. They look really good. Yeah. Also to be released soon, we have the Mirage. This is the 1976 Mons so this is the 1975 Le Mans winner of Derek Bell and Jack Wicks. This will be released in March at the time of the world and it, it looks really, really nice. It's got period correct sort of yellowish headlights. The chassis design has been done so as to make it good for racing, nice and flat. And it looks generally like a real winner. It is a lovely little piece of tooling. Looks great, handles great as well. Yeah. Keeping with the new releases, we have my favourite. That's the Ford Anglia. This is the 1966. No, 1965, sorry, British Championship winner of John Fitzpatrick. Do you have a nickname for this? I don't, no, no. no. Uh, in Sweden they say like uh, half 11 or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, called the, it's called the Angle Box yeah. in the UK. Uh, but okay. it's a great little car. Um, we're going to do loads of releases with this. It's yeah, really of course, nice. it will come in Harry Potter. Uh, well, I can't, can't talk about that one. But, um, you know, it looks really, really nice. There's an early sample. We've got some more finished ones back at the office yep. now. Again, it has nice dim headlamps for the proper period 60s feel. It's got the nice broad speed colours on it. And this looks, looks brilliant. I think it looks a real, real fantastic little car. Yeah. And also new, we have a Brabham and a Lotus. These are both from the 1978 season. We have a World Championship Edition Mario Andretti Lotus 79, and then Nicky Lauda's Brabham from the Italian Grand Prix in that year as well. So these are different cars that are in the trim pack. They're different yeah. with a few little detail changes. They are a really nice pair of 70s F1 cars.